Ladies and gentlemen, nothing could give me greater pleasure than to be able to pay tribute to you, the members of the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship. You have become the largest layman's organization in the world, and I think I know why. Through all those years, you've never looked back. You've always looked up, up to the one great source of truth and hope, love and beauty, grace and glory, our Father, our Creator, our Lord and loving God. There's a passage from the teachings of Jesus, it's in the book of Mark, that I think explains the secret of your success. But whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. All this you have done. The Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship has been serving America and serving God with all the faith, strength, and courage that human hearts can bear. It's your commitment and confidence, your values of faith, family, and freedom that make us know Americans are a good and decent people and that inspire us to believe America can be a great nation. Within our families and communities, let us continue reaching out, striving for a spirit of friendship and fellowship among people and nations among all who share our lives and our dreams for a better world. And let us remember that the blessings of liberty we enjoy do not belong to us alone. They are gifts from God to men and women everywhere. And we have a duty to support all who struggle for freedom. We have it within our power to begin the world all over again. We can be a shining city upon a hill. Thank you, and God bless you all.